collecting her dead mother's benefit checks while the body decomposed downstairs, allowed back in the home where it all happened tonight. Mary Kirsten was released on bond today after a brief court appearance. Investigators say she never reported her mother's death. It wasn't until 14 months later when officers came by the house for a welfare check that they discovered the body. Tori Wells outside the home on James Street tonight. Tori, Mary Kirsten is now facing a laundry list of charges, it sounds like. Greg, this is a copy of that indictment unsealed just this morning. In this, charges including grand larceny, petty larceny, and unlawfully disposing of a human body. Now, Hope Roller lived in this home right here behind me on the bottom apartment, the bottom floor there. Her daughter, Mary Kirsten, lived above her and was her caretaker. That daughter arraigned this morning and released after she pled not guilty to these charges. Sharon Peters has lived across from this home for five years and remembers Hope Roller spending time on her front porch. About a year and a half, two years ago, she stopped. I did ask her daughter, you know, you know, what's going on with your mother? I haven't seen her. And she said that she was not herself. She's going to be staying in the house. But today, the Gloversville police chief told us his investigators believe Roller died in October of 2013. They were called here in December after Roller's granddaughter tried to visit her. She wanted to visit her for the holidays. She went over to see her grandmother. She was turned away. This wasn't the first time she's been turned away with, with no real explanation. A grand jury indictment unsealed today alleges Roller's daughter, Mary Kirsting, didn't report her death and left her in her bed. The indictment also alleges Kirsting took more than $13,000 in Social Security payments and more than $800 in pension payments in her mother's name. Kirsting was arraigned on the charges in that indictment this morning. Is there anything you'd like to say? She didn't speak with us as she left the courthouse, but back inside, the Fulton County District Attorney told us allegations of family stealing from the elderly happen too often. She says the county saw a similar case in 2003. A woman was found in a Rubbermaid container in the town of Johnstown under similar circumstances for uh, the purpose of uh, Social Security fleecing. It's sad that something like this has happened in, in our neighborhood. To die like that and to be left like that, there's no dignity in that. It is undignified. And the district attorney told us that Roller's body was too badly decomposed, so they could not determine a cause of death. She did say there was no penetrating injuries or no evidence of blunt force trauma. We are live in Gloversville. Tori Wells, CBS 6 News.